Welcome back ladies and gents to another My Shire Game production and as you can see we're jumping straight into the highlights of our game between episodes. It of course was away to Istanbul, not Constantinople and well as you can see we won 3-2. They gave us a bit of a fight, we played a 4-2-2-2 uh, two, 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 with two wide attacking midfielders. We didn't play up the middle this time, we thought we'd switch up, give the wingers a little bit of an opportunity to play. And, well, they did a decent job. I believe one of our wingers managed to score. Both of our strikers scored. I can't... I think that was the three. I want to say Sadar scored. As you can see here, and Doi went and got himself one. And I believe it was Aaron. He did manage to pick up a knock, though. There was a few little issues. He picked up a knock. Um, Batwan, I think it was, also picked up another knock. So we had a little issue in terms of our strikers both getting injuries. As you can see, I don't know why I'm trying to remember the goals. I, yeah, said I got one, Edigan got one, and then Doi. So, yeah, I was completely wrong. It wasn't Erin who got one. I don't know where that came from. What did Erin do that made me think it was him? He might have got an assist. I don't know what he did. But as you can see, our team had a solid game. Atabek went and got a 6.7 rating. We had Chat on 7.4. Most of our team, in fact, were over a 7. 7.1 7 for Omar. We had Seda on 7. 7.2 7 for our other right-hand sided attacking mid. We then have our two strikers who had a lovely game. They linked up very well in today's game. And, well, it was a solid game indeed. Now, apart from that, let's just quickly swap this to P. Highlights, I think. No, we don't want to watch it again. I'm just making sure it does it for the game. I don't want it bugging out and just showing his games, uh, goals in the game. So we'll do that. As you can see, comfortably in the league, we have a game in hand against second place. And well, today's game, if we manage to win it, we'll guarantee ourselves a playoff spot. Technically, we're pretty much guaranteed a playoff spot with the amount of points we have. But mathematically, we can technically miss out on the playoffs if all of these teams somehow manage to win every single game and we lose every game. But, mathematically, if we win today's game, we'll be down to the last seven games. That'll be 21 points. But we'll be on 61 points. That'll give us 40 points, which will mean the only team, Altay, who's in a playoff spot below that 40-point threshold, won't be able to catch us. So we'll be above Altay. We'll be guaranteed top six. That'll be that sorted. Then, hopefully, in the next episode, if we manage to pick up points against Ankara, we can come back for that game and guarantee ourselves hopefully the automatic promotion and then hopefully clinch the title in the episode after. Once that's done, we can let the youngsters have a little run out. But speaking of the youngsters, we have some new additions. Yes, youth recruitment has come in. Now, we're not going to use the aggression rule with the youth recruitment because otherwise we'll end up with like two people. I did have a little peek at these ones. We would have got most of them anyway, even if I did apply the aggression rule to oh to our youth recruitment so it's not too bad on that front as you'll see i did move the two guys who are sitting on our bench into the reserves of the youth team that's simply because they just aren't good enough as you'll quickly see when i go to the under 19s we have here kr and muslu now muslu is two silver stars one gold and one yellow we then have over here punch self stars one like, they're just not up to the standard we need for our first team. So they've been dropped down to the youth team. We don't need them to fill gaps because the youth recruitment, as you can see here, has been pretty good. So look at all those lovely potentials and some have some decent starting ability. So these, they're going to be coming onto the bench probably straight away. The problem is right now they are set to play for the youth game. So we can't use them in today's episode. But for future episodes, they will be coming onto the bench. I'll show you them getting integrated. And when we guarantee promotion, these are probably all going to be playing because they've got plenty of potential. I managed to weed out all the ones which were any good. Of course, you do get that list of about 20 players. So our money's tight. I can't be giving £15 a week to players who I'm just not going to bother with, especially when they're less than pre-star. So I've had a minimum rule. This guy hits the minimum. It's two and a half star, three and a half star potential in white. 
anything lower than that, we're not coming in. That's just, that is my rule from now on. I'm not bringing anyone lower than that in, just simply because we don't need the deadwood, quite frankly. So as you can see, I've promoted them all into the first team, ready to pop onto the bench when they are able to be popped on. But let's have a little look at them first. So first of all, we have the goalkeeper, Olu. Now, Olu, he is pretty decent. So three star, four star potential, one and a half star at the moment, 16 years of age. He's a normal goalkeeper. He's quite well rounded. 16 on the aggression, so he would have made it in if we was applying the aggression rule to the youth recruitment. We then have Papaka. Papaka is pretty decent also. He plays on the left-hand side, although he can play as a striker. The only problem is, as you can see, he's right-footed only, so he should probably be playing as an inverted winger or an inside forward. As an inverted winger, he doesn't have the composure to really play that, nor does he have off the ball. So, inverted winger is probably not what we want to use him for. Inside, he does lack the composure and the off of the ball. Again, balance. That lets him down. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with this guy. I guess we could retrain him as a winger for the opposite side. How do you play as a winger? Your off the ball sucks, but besides that, you're not too bad. So, maybe we'll retrain him as a winger. Work on his off the ball on the opposite side. I don't know. We'll figure out what to do with him. As a striker, yeah, his composure, concentration, I don't know. He's got potential. I don't know how he's going to quite reach it because his stats just don't merit his position. They're just a little bit all over the place. We then have Erdogan. Now, Erdogan, he is a central midfielder, although that's weird. It defaults to central midfield, but he's a defensive mid naturally. So, as you can see, he is solid. He can probably slot straight in, in fact. He's probably going to be our backup in that defensive midfield role when we get promoted. And he could probably do a playmaker role, I would say. Yes, as you can see, he's a decent backup playmaker. His vision lacks a little bit, so that's probably going to let him down. But if we can work on his vision, we can get him as a playmaker. He can cover both that and the playmaker role. That would be nice. In fact, how is he as a ball-winning midfielder? Ball-winning midfielder is solid. So... Maybe we don't teach him to have any eyeballs. We'll just leave him blind, let him be our defensive mid, and let him be a backup for the ball-winning midfielder, because he's pretty decent at that one as well. We then have Demir. Now, Demir, he scored a hat-trick in our youth team's game against our under-19s. It was a 6-3 game in the end to the youth team, and, well, he scored a hat-trick, like I said. He's an advanced forward, a solid advanced forward, two-star ability at the moment, three-and-a-half-star potential. He is going to be amazing. I can feel it already. This guy is our next Ali Akman, except he is not going on the cheap. I'm going to be able to tie him down to a contract, keeping me a long term, and we're not going to have the same problem we had with Akman. So, Yilmaz. Yilmaz, left back. That is quite useful for us. We're not going to use him as a full-back, although it's, that's his natural role. If anything, he'll be like a supportive winger. Maybe he has the flair. He can do it. So he can be an attacking wing back. That's not too bad. Look at those stats. Solid. He wouldn't make it in on our aggression stat, but like I said, we're not playing that to the youth recruitment, so we're all good there. So we then come on to Dinka. He's probably the worst one of them all. One star, two and a half star potential, possibly three and a half star. But as you can see, for his position, he's pretty good. In fact, how are you as a left back? Because I might train you to be a right back as well. He's not bad. He's marking and positioning. As a defender, marking and positioning are quite important. So, and he don't have concentration. Okay, you're not going anywhere near the defense. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I saw the fact that you've tried left back and thought that might work, but no. We're not having it when you can't mark, you don't concentrate, and yeah, positioning it very good. So, as you can see, I'm probably going to train him on that right-hand side, a bit further off. We don't use a flat back, although I might go to the Christmas tree formation at some point. So, it might be useful if I go to the Christmas tree, but for now, winger. We'll train him to be a winger probably in both of these positions, and he is pretty decent as a winger. Does lack some natural fitness, though. That's kind of worrying. He's got free natural fitness at the age of 16. I hate to see what his fitness is going to be like when he is like 36. That man is going to be 
very slow. He's going to make Endoy look like Usain Bolt. So, that's him out the way. We then have the final man, Saka. Saka, of course, 16 years of age, because they all are youth recruits. One star, well, one and a half star. Three and a half star, four and a half star potential. He's unambitious. He's a right-footed, left-hand side player. Very similar to the other guy, except on the left-hand side. We are probably going to use him as an inside forward, though. Unless we retrain him on the left as a winger. Hmm. How do you feel as an inside? Why can I? Because I'm older now. That makes sense. Right, inside forward. As you can see, as an inside forward, he's pretty decent. Again, lacks a bit of aggression, but he's pretty decent. We do need to focus on that flare issue, though. So maybe, how are you? That's why he's an inverted forward. Inverted forward, inverted winger. Because he lacks flare. Interesting. So he is an inverted winger. We have tried an inverted winger, of course. The guy on loan is an inverted winger on this right hand side. So we know an inverted winger can work in our setup. The only problem is we'd probably have to swap the inside forward to the right hand side and say the left hand side. So yeah, that can work. It's just not ideal. So that's our youth recruitment. We have our game, of course, against Tuzzler Sport today. And we are all ready with our lineup. So as you can see, we're sticking with the 4-2-2-2. Two, two, two. We're not going down the middle this time. I'm going to give the wingers another game. Back-to-back -back games for the wingers. Sedar and Sadiq had amazing games last time. So I'm sorry, Recap and Recaps fans, but he is not starting today. He will have games in the future, of course. But the 31-year-old, I didn't realise he was 31 years old. Jesus. Recap, you're getting old, my friend. Anyways. Recap's not going to start today. We've got Sadiq and Sadar. And we've got our nice central midfield combination. These are, of course, our normal starting players for the most part. So, without further ado, let's head on into the fixture and let's go play Tuzzler Spore. Of course, Tuz how did we get on before we do? How did we get on against Tuzzler Spore last time? I think we dominated them away from home. Yes, 3-1. Away from home, on telly, 2,000 or so fans. We're back on telly, it's wet. Was it wet back then? Yes, it was. So we played them in similar conditions, except this time we are at home. So we should be able to get a victory. We played a similar formation. The only difference is we've got a striker instead of a central attacking mid. We should be able to pick up the victory. Come on, lads. Let's go. On to the pitch. Tactically. Confident about the team's flexible shape. I am loving that. All of this green. Endoy, what do you not like? Much higher press and intense. It's not our fault you're an old man, Endoy. You, you grumpy old man. Anyway, chat doesn't like passing into space. Doesn't suit his passing. Okay. Chat, I don't know why. That's much of an issue, but okay. That's an issue for chat. Anyways, as you can see, we've got the social media roundup on the left-hand side. I'm not going to go through them, but feel free to pause if you are interested in that. So, let's hands on hips. You can secure at least a playoff place here with a win. Wow, that's surprised. It's not like I didn't just mathematically work that one out for you, ladies and gents. Anyway, we can secure a place. Uh, go out there and impress me. I don't want to put that pressure on them, to be honest. I think we're just going to tell them... Mm. If we play our game, we'll win. You're all very careful of that. I don't want to put the pressure on them. We've got a couple of younger players, a couple of older players. We don't want to pressure anyone. So just, it's just another game. Just another game. Get the points. Enjoy the points afterwards. Have the best defense. Ooh, having the best defense in the league. Must have you looking forward to another win. Well, no, that just guarantees us a draw. It doesn't get us a win. We need good attack to get a win. I'm proud of that record and the work that's gone into it. We'll continue to work hard to keep getting better. Indeed. Tussler Sports' recent struggles have them 16th in the league's form table. Is this a chance to pile on the misery? Well, they've drawn three and lost two, so yes, I would say it's probably a good chance. Um, we should be in a position to beat them, but we'll have to work hard to make sure. Indeed. You don't get any freebies. Nobody gets freebies, although we've got a draw on four wins as our last six. I don't know why it says six. Should say last five. Sports Interactive, five. That's five games, not six. I don't know where you get the six from. It's only showing me five results. So, yeah. 
That's the league table. We are walking out onto the pitch. Escorted, of course, by the officials for today's game. And Omar is bombing on the left-hand side already. We are less than a minute into today's game and we have a highlight. This is nice to see. Oscan over to Emery. Oh, it's blocked. Sadiq, though, collects it. Oh, our right back. Going for a screamer. Unfortunately, can't get it into the net, though. Jesus, we're four minutes in and we've had three shots. I've just noticed that. Omar throws it into Sadar. Sadar plays back to Omar. Now with Imran. Emran, can he get it across to Mantari? Nice tackle, unfortunately, gets it back to their player, though. And it's with Zubanovic, and he gets it over to this left-hand side. Unir, can we get a tackle in? Come on, Kunyet. Kunyet, Kunyet, get a tackle in. Oh, you can't let him pass it across like that. Jesus, what are you playing at? Don't make me take you off. I don't want to take you off, but I will take you off. We have a decent backup on our right-hand side, so don't make me replace you. As I will. I will take you off at half time and I will replace you. So I'm going to demand more of the entire team. Even though it's only our right back's fault really for that goal. I'm going to demand more of all of you. And you can go blame your teammate. For me yelling at you less than twenty minutes into today's game. So let's crack on with this one. Twenty seven minutes, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. We're cracking under the pressure, ladies and gents. We are cracking under the pressure. He's happy. I'm glad you're happy, because I am not happy. Not happy indeed. These guys have been struggling. We are a much better team. We smashed them about last time. Similar weather conditions. <laughs> Everything points in the direction of us getting a victory here today, other than the fact we've just conceded. Eren from miles out. Come on, Eren Goulier. Seventh goal of the season. I believe he's our current top goal scorer. Of course, Ali Akman would have been miles ahead of him. But at the moment, I'm pretty sure Aaron Gula started off not even as a starter. Did good in training, built his way up into the team, and now he is on fire. It's great to see him up there. Endoy in support. Not needed this time, but... Looks like we're going into half time at 1 1. Still a little bit disappointed, as you can see. We need to take back control of this game. We had it for a little bit, lost it, they took it. Now we just need to get it back. So, as you can see, match statistics we've had six shots, they've had five. Do you want to take it to their four? 0 0.34 XG to zero. Their 0 0.44. Our problem is we're just not getting our shots on target, quite frankly. Three corners to their six, four fouls to their six, one yellow card, zero yellow cards, 85% passing completion ratio to their 90. That is a solid passing completion ratio. 48% possession to their 52. Sullivan Tari has a yellow card, and of course, we have a goal apiece. So we're going to stick on attacking. We want to get some goals. We are at home. We want to get the victory. So, hands on hips. I'm happy with your performance out there. Ozan, you know what? You're playing all right. I'm going to tell you you've been all right. So individuals, you, I'm going to hands on hips. I'm, I wouldn't go as far as very pleased. Just go out there and play your natural game. Can I redo individuals for other individuals? You, I'm not happy with your performance so far. That's motivated him. Good. You're all sorted, you're all sorted, not talking to the bench. Although Kaskin, you might be coming on. So those Kaskin fans out there, he might be coming on at right back. If our right back continues to be pretty useless in today's game. I'm not, in fact, he's on a 6.3. I'm going to do it in a second. I'm going to do it in just a second. Because that is pathetic. 50 minutes deep though, we have a corner. Can we score from this? Emran will whip it in. Back post, and Doi can't get to it, but it will be collected by Sedar from the header away. He's coming down this left-hand side. Will he whip it across? Or pull it back, maybe. Omar's there. No, he's just going to give it up to Pucko. Pucko now gets it up, and I just clicked my finger. I apologise. That was a lot louder than I thought it was going to be. And we have a throw in. Not going to see it though, because the highlight is just not worth seeing. So, let's get a few substitutions going, right? Who is our disappointing performers? Well, we know Kunyet Koz has been rather disappointing. So, we are going to get Ramazan on at right back. 
Now, Ramazan, what is his potential, by the way? He has a lot of potential. I can see why people want Ramazan Piskin on the pitch. He is a solid right back. I like him. Unfortunately, he's just not on Kozzi's uh, level, although Kozzi's now dropping off. He's dropping off at 28. Jesus. Cos, you might have played your last game for us. That was an awful performance, and if Kaskin works his way in, you ain't getting back. So, that is Kaskin on. We have Suleiman Tari and Endoy who aren't having the best of games. So, you know what we're going to do? We are going back to our good old formation. We're going to take off Endoy. Endoy is having a poor performance, so we'll bring on Rika. We're not going to go with Shadow Striker though. We're going to have him just be a normal advanced midfielder. We're going to bring on Oscan in place of Muntari. Now, Eren is lacking a bit of fitness. He's getting a bit tired. We should probably keep him on though. But Batwan. Batwan can do a job. Unfortunately, he's our best performer. So we're going to keep him on. We're going to keep him on. We're pushing for the win. We can't be taking off the guy who's got the goal. That's just not how we're going to get more goals. So, Mehmet could come on for Omar, give Omar a bit of a rest, but at the moment, I don't see any reason to be taking anyone off. So, let's get into the game. Let's crack on with this match. Let's go out and get a victory. Jesus, I sure said something to Kiskin, because he is not looking happy. Look at that little red face of his. He's not enjoying it. Right, you know what? Individual instruction. Um, no pressure. Just game. I trust you. I'm going to tell you I trust you, and you're going to take it on the chin. You're going to enjoy that, just game. No, he's not. He's not. He doesn't enjoy the fact I trust him. Um, no, we can't demand more. That's not good. Can't demand more. Because we did our individual talk to Kiskin to make him feel better. Demand more. Come on, team. We want some goals. Let's go get a victory. Five minutes remain. Plus any additional time. Looks like we're not going to get anything more than a draw, though. That is a little disappointing. Erin put in a nice performance. Ozan, when he came on, did. Chat also. So, I'm not sure what we're doing at right back. I think we might give Kiskin the next game, you know. Because cost 6.3, that is awful. In fact, we might go as this is our starting 11 for the next game because Endoy struggled, Cos struggled, Endoy's just been up and down, not really done a whole lot. Mantari, 6.5, he can do better. I think it's either going to be Cock or Mantari. But besides that, the rest of the team is probably going to be the same at least for my next game and probably the next episode game too. So, hands on hips. You're not good enough today. That sort of match we should be winning. That's got Oscan nervous. Well, I don't care Oscan let you nervous because that is the sort of match we should be winning. We should not be drawing against a team with such poor form when we are top of the league. So, everybody enjoyed Aaron's goal. It was. It was a beautiful goal. A powerful effort from 24 metres. Which blast, uh, blasted on the inside of the post before hitting the back of the net. That silenced the opponent's fans. Okay, um, I can't think of many better than that. It was a special goal. Special goal indeed. So, as you can see, we have a solid lead. 14 points on second place. I'm pretty sure... So that guarantees us top eight. By the next episode, I think I'll have playoffs guaranteed. Even if I don't win, I'm pretty sure I'll be guaranteed playoffs just by these teams being up and down like yo-yos. Maybe not, but I think by the end of the next episode we can safely say we'll be in the playoffs. So, I'm going to do the press conference. I shall, of course, play this game against Ankara and then I'll see you fine folks back for the Gearson Sport game, which previously... Yes, and Spore, we had a nice 4-2 victory against away from home. We know how that went with Tussler Spore, though. We dominated Tussler Spore last time we played them, and, well, we've just gone and drawn 1-1. So, I thank you all for watching today's episode. I hope you all have a lovely night, and goodbye.